Three, two, two, one. One. Why are you wearing my shirt? Why are you wearing my shirt? This is one of your things, isn't it? No, it wasn't my idea. It was actually Lily's. What is it? Dress like your boss day. Oh, well, I was gone all day, so oh well. And I had to dress like you all day. You did? Yeah. I, I did at one point like paint my face because you have a lot of facial hair. Yes. But then I started getting self-conscious about it. So I don't, I'm not going to wear it for the show, but I have a picture right here. Why in the world do I have a unibrow? <laughs> it's a bit like Frida Kahlo. <laughs> Maybe. I don't, I don't have know. a unibrow. There's a clear division right here. Because you just recently shaved your eyebrows, which I did weirds not. me out. <laughs> Not yeah. yeah, so Lily dressed like me because I'm her immediate supervisor boss and uh -huh. she makes an adorable unicorn. Uh -huh. She even sat yeah, behind my desk. That was awesome. Uh -huh. She took it seriously. She didn't even wear shoes. So she was full hippie today, huh? She was unicorn hippie. Full it was widow. awesome. I like that I look similar. So it made me feel better about myself. As long as she didn't take any of your medication before. Yeah, no medication. <laughs> what are we Poor talking kid. about? <laughs> Poor kid. So, no, she was great. Uh, so it's dress like your boss date. And I will say, to dress like you, it's a hard thing to pull off. Because it is really hard being this boring and old. <laughs> so, so now you can said live well a box spring from a memory foam now you're gonna take one home so you can change and finally take control of what you learned on fish hole Uh, Hi, I'm Javier. And I'm Melanie. And this is Fishbowl, our weekly get together with you guys to go over everything about shopping for a new mattress, getting better sleep, eating better, and the occasional conversation about salient fabric pillows. I like that. Hey, it's better than her going off on something else. Hey, I'm also still dressed like you. Yes, I have that t-shirt. So <laughs> Clearly, that's not my t-shirt because it's a little bit smaller. I was actually trying to get you to wear the same shirt so then we could be twinsies, but then we that kind of would be, be weird. That might be yeah. kind of weird. I don't want to be twinsies. No. No, no. no. So how was your week? <laughs> Ashley, wait, wait, wait. Don't tell me about the week. <laughs> tell me about today because I was gone all day. <laughs> well, it was an interesting day. We did get a little bit of rain. That's okay. always exciting here in the desert because cool. everybody gets excited and we all go like outside to see it rain for like three minutes. Um, all three minutes. Yeah, kind of smelled a little bit like wet desert. So that was nice. And then we, um, well, I ordered lunch. Oh, good. Yummy. <laughs> was it a yummy lunch? Uh, I, I think I'm kind of, I don't know. I found something in my tacos that I can't describe. Oh. And I'm not going to associate with any business name because I love the local, but did, I will say that it was an unidentifiable object found inside of my tacos. Did it meow? Mm, I, I don't even know. I... I I'm not sure of the species. Mm, yummy. Yeah, so that happened today. That was kind of a weird setback. And then, that's a true story. Um, I'll spare everyone from the evidence. But <laughs> she didn't spare me. She sent me a video of it. And for some reason, she just thought it was just worth sharing with me. Here I am Man, three hours that way. And I, I have, have to had, see it. I've had me some sketchy tacos. Mm hmm Okay. I am a taco lover. You're I'm a taco, taco lover. I'm a taco okay. fiend. Okay, a taco fiend even. Uh -huh. I don't miss a Taco Tuesday. And the like sketchier the taco, the better. I think I did at one point eat ta like monkey meat unknowingly in Mexico. Mm. We Ooh. won't. That's a long story. But these tacos freaked me out. That that's all I need to say. Yuck. So that happened today. We had great customer. We're still really busy on the phones. We've kind of gone back into an online phone thing. Yep. Yep. Um. But I cannot stress the importance of following up with your customers, staying on that quote, staying on that sale, open communication. That really seems to be benefiting us. How long would you say, okay, so now this is a real stat. I want you guys to pay attention to this part. How long would you say the timeline is between contact and purchase now within the past, mm. within the past, let's say quarter, three months? 
How long has it increased? Okay, well, as a rule of thumb in sales, mm -hmm. like we're taught 90 days, right? Right. At, mm -hmm. Some stuff closes right then and there, but those people have been thinking about it for approximately right. 90 days. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I will definitely say that the 90 day mark has been true, but in this economy and this climate, I would say that I would extend that to f maybe even four to five. No. Well, I have, p p I do have customers coming in this week that were here five to six months ago. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's not uncommon, yep. especially with the Gutierrez, delayed closures yeah. in uh, mm -hmm. delayed closures in housing um, mm -hmm. and the buyer's market. So the, the chess pieces don't move as much. So there is a delay five to six months, but Let's say we're just working an active quote. It's somebody that's really in that process. Mm -hmm. They're doing their homework. Um, I know I've been working some stuff five to six weeks mm -hmm. daily. Like it's right. a, it's a, it's a, it's a continuum of a conversation. It's multiple links. It's multiple mm -hmm. images. Not um, only you reaching out, they're reaching out to you. Right. So because I don't want it to sound like we're bugging you guys. No, this is actual no. conversation going on. And so it's and it's not driven by commission which is right. huge so right. when you have commissioned uh that's sales pestering. that that can really it changes things up it, it changes the tone uh there's good things that come from commission sales no i'm not totally discarding that but it, it does change the tone so what we're looking at in my experience is that i can transmit more data mm -hmm. with images and links right and written material than I can in simple conversation that I might be in front of somebody for an hour. Now, don't get me wrong. There are times when I'm on the floor in an active sale and it may take four to five hours to close that. Right. It's right. not uncommon to go without like say lunch because I'm constantly, I'm closing a deal. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. they have my full attention at that point. Yep. Yeah. It's gone. It's gone on. I know that a customer can reach me online or call the store or come to the store. I do the quote <clears throat> and it yeah. can take up to a month. Oh yeah. It can take up mm -hmm. to two months. I mean, there was a lady that we just closed that was several visits to the store, several text messages, several videos, and it still took forever to close it. And it's, it's, it's not us just reaching out. It's them reaching us for more info. And it's working out that way because the people are actually finding what they're okay, looking so for because they're researching. That's in closing, but think about the, and the work involved through the process of ordering, mm -hmm. expected and tracking. Mm -hmm. Then you have the follow-up of delivery right. and then the follow-up of post-delivery mm -hmm. and into any guarantees. Yep. So you may have a quote that you spend five to six weeks on or months on, <clears throat> mm -hmm. and then it extends another three to four weeks in after right. action, right? And, yep. Now, would you say, okay, and, and this isn't, and I know we're, we're kind of exposing the underbelly of how it works here, but this is fun because a lot of people don't know how this works. Would you say that our new relationships with the customers and the extended time period that we're actually communicating with them, would you say that that's increased our five-star rating reviews? Oh, absolutely. People are hungry for customer service. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, we got forced to online sales right. through the pandemic. Mm -hmm. Um, and there's nothing more frustrating than wanting to speak to a human, but it's still AI and you're press this, press that. And then you get referred to a, a person that isn't a face of the company or the business. Right, right. So we have that as a blessing because we're still a small company. Mm -hmm. We're not very big, but mm -hmm. um, we're mighty. We're a little bit more mighty. But I do think that the more face time we have with a, a customer, um, that's when we're truly employed is that in order to be gainfully employed and, and working your job and your expertise is your face to face with that customer mm -hmm. or phone to phone at this point, right. device to device. So mm -hmm. you really need to be active. And I think that puts you ahead of a lot of our competitors that, that aren't implementing those, those right. new, mm -hmm. uh, tactics. Right. Right. And see the media talks about this, but I don't think a lot of people actually think that it's actually hitting the small towns and we're in a small town and it really does work that way. These videos are part of us reaching out to you. You guys call us or you guys come to the store. Mm -hmm. We meet with you that way. We actually have had Google meetings with customers so that way we could actually show the product. You know, I've done it a couple of times with pillows with people in Florida. Um, it's, it's, it really is that way. The technology has really helped expand us beyond this small little store and made us 
kind of mighty like what you were talking about yeah, yeah big yeah. time and it yep. doesn't just it's just not furniture and mattress and home decor right this could be a practice that you take into any of your business whatever your mm -hmm. your specialization is or your company is if you have your own business you should be operating in the same totally format totally totally it, all right yeah I like well that. we that was yeah fun. yeah that's fun that was serious that was fun yeah. i didn't even get in any of my you know i had this dream last night wait 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 you didn't get any of your and then you stop so i had this dream last. so you had this dream last night okay what is your dream what is your dream because i i know exactly where it's going what what is your dream please tell me well you know in i had this dream that i you had said as the boss and the owner that you were going to fire the the employee with the worst posture oh and oh, I, I had a hunch it was me. <laughs> yeah. Kelly, please cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> I just sent her another one. <laughs> it's time for our first question of the day. So these questions come from you guys. These questions are questions that were asked here in the store. We get them emailed. We get them called <laughs> in. We get them texted in. Texted in. <laughs> But these are questions. That was a that customer. They were texting in something to the show. <laughs> and we should start that. We could we could start a live thing. Mm -hmm. Like text Oh no, we could we definitely text fishbowl to four five feet bop 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 bop. And then we could get your live feed and we could answer your questions. We could right just do here, that right on now. social media right now. Oh yeah. <laughs> anyway, so these questions are from you guys. Uh, if you ever have any questions, either call us here at the store, call us at the Carlsbad store, it doesn't matter. But just we'll get the questions and we'll answer them here online or, or on air. Okay, so our Wait, first you want question. some cheese? I just brought cheese. I would not like some cheese right now. I've been walking around with a platter of cheese all day. <laughs> I know you have. All right, question first question. Meow. <laughs> Okay, your website lists several mattresses, but when I look at them, they say out of stock. Does mm. that mean we can't get them ordered? Mm, no. Okay, so what does that mean? Mm. That's some cheesy. good Swiss. Okay, so in stock is pretty much we have it our hands on it. Right. Mm -hmm. If it's out of stock, give us a call because it could be maybe, depending on your location, a week or right. a couple weeks. Now, depending on manufacturer, if you want something really fancy, it could be much longer than that. So right, some right. of our beds that use like the rest bed or computer chips, mm -hmm, computer chips, it's just like vehicles. You've got to get on a waiting list and mm -hmm. we're talking, I don't know, 14 to 16 yeah. weeks. So we're not going to be, we're not going to hide it. It's, it's, yeah, it's a problem. But there are some people that their lifestyle allows them to be like, hey, you know, we got we got six months. We, yeah. we can wait till the next decade. I personally We're don't. Cool. <laughs> and the majority of our customers don't. So therefore, yeah. we have a, a vendor that turns it within a week. Man, I'm two. still waiting. I bought it one of those um, RFD bags. Mm -hmm. So somebody can't like steal my identity through my bag. Mm -hmm. I, I don't even know. It's been several weeks now. It's on a boat. I know they took the money from my account. It's on a boat. So to answer your question before <laughs> she goes even, on a different yeah, tangent. Might be at the bottom of the ocean. No, before she goes on a different tangent. No, the, the, the mattresses are orderable. It just, it's just if we can't order them, I mean, if they're not in stock at the store, uh, they are orderable. So just give us a call, email us, and we can definitely look into getting that for you. All right, so it is time for our first break. So did you know that carrots? Oh, it's crazy. time for Mel's crazy. Oh my gosh! I, I don't have a reason why I settled over here. Yeah, oh. it's, it's time for it's Mel's crazy. crazy. Keep us in line. Hey, did you know carrots are related to celery? I did not. Mm -hmm. They're yeah. in the same family. Okay. That's awesome. Mm. Mel's crazy. Mel's crazy. Time for Mel's I got the crazy. paper here somewhere. Yeah. We Did have you? notes and everything, and we still can't week. keep okay. the shore flowing. Okay. I even have a little timer right here, and there's timing right here. We're on hypothetical? Yes, okay. we're on a hypothetical. <laughs> Hypothetically. Mm. If you could be any superhero. If I could be any superhero. You know, with those superhero powers. Superhero powers. That embody that image. Okay. But you change the image to a Muppet character. Who would you be and what would your name be? That was written by Gavin. So if I was, for instance, job, if I was a Cookie Monster superhero, 
Well, you're going to have the image of Cookie Monster. You'll look like Cookie Monster, oh, but okay. you'll have the attributes of another superhero that... Who, oh, who would he, would, be? he would be... Oh, is there a... He, he would be the Incredible Hulk. Cookie Monster cookie. would be the Hulk. He'd be like, oh! Yeah. Give me my cookies. Yeah. Cookie, yeah. cookie, cookie. Yeah. What is that song? C is, no is song. for cookie. That's and good cookie enough for is me. for me. <laughs> C, yeah. Okay. So instead of Hulk <laughs> Smash, it would be Cookie yeah. Crunch? Cookie Crunch, yeah. All right. What is yours? Mm, so I'm a big fan of Kermit. <laughs> okay. And what superpower... It's not easy being, <laughs> being green. green. Yeah. Okay. And then I think, and, and Lyle was with me too. He was he was on board. We were both we both were like, yeah, we're Kermit people. We discovered that today. That was funny. The superhero. We high fived over it. Yeah, the um, superhero. So okay. we'd be Kermit. Stay with me. But I chose Rogue from the X Men. Yeah. I don't really know what her super. But did she, she sucks, like? No, she sucks the power away from other heroes. <laughs> So Kermit, Kermit, the frog Kermit. that needs and to touch people. And she had the white people. streak, so like yeah. Kermit with a wig and a white streak. Like that a female version. Literally <laughs> horrifies me. <laughs> <And> then, <laughs> yeah. Because my favorite superheroine has always been Rogue, because okay. I really enjoyed playing X-Men as a young child. With that, we're going to take a break. <laughs> of Unique in the Boutique, where I bring you interesting items for you in your home, from soaps to lotions, from pajamas to socks. I bring you our best selections from our Livewell Boutique. Please join me every Monday night for our new release of Unique in the Boutique. You can join us on either our YouTube channel or on our Facebook. I look forward to seeing you. Do you have to do that right as we come on camera? Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. All right, it is time. Hey, I could have done that so much better, you know. Now that I really think about it, who my favorite superhero was, that I totally man crushed on. Who? Green Arrow. So if Kermit was the Green Arrow, that would be bad. Can we say that word? I don't know. That would be awesome. Mm. I'm really curbing my cussing. We hired Lyle. It's time for pick of the week. <laughs> it would be badass. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great, Kermit yes. as Green Arrow? It would be totally awesome. It's it time for pick of the week, sense. though. We left. We left that. That's almost as good as him yeah. as a Jedi. Yeah. Pick of the week. Mind. Yeah. We're on, we're on pick of the week. It's time for <laughs> pick of the week. Okay. So right. what we have for you is uh, <clears throat> the salient fabrics. We have a couple different ones. So we have the sheets, and then we also have the pillows, and both of those are by Pure Care. Pure Care is an extraordinary company, and what I like the Very most about them mm -hmm. is that, um, well, they're so clean. They, they're hygienic sheets, mm -hmm. okay? They're infused with silver chloride. All of their products carry this silver chloride infusion, mm -hmm. which is really top-notch. And so what that does is it creates a barrier between you and your mattress or you and your pillow, and it's antiviral, antibacterial, anti-mold, mildew. Mm -hmm. It's going to be such a clean surface. So I love that about all of their Very products nice. yep. and they're all medical grade. So they're high quality. Yes. They all can, their products. They can tolerate um, extreme heats. Mm -hmm. So you can never melt these. It's like silicone cookware. It doesn't. And then the silver chloride doesn't wash out the, the everything. It just stays intact. So mm -hmm. uh, clean surface, a heat resistant. And then that way you can sanitize the product. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's what they mean by medical grade is you can literally cook this thing to sanitize it and it will still be viable. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I love that. I love that about it. And we have chosen specifically to display our pillows. 
Oh, let me put my you carrot down special, here. Yeah, you have Wait, a special Wait, hold thing. my carrot! <laughs> okay. It's not happening. I know. So, <laughs> did you see I switched the vegetables at my unidentified object in my meat? Yeah, there I you think go. I'm going to become vegan. Yeah. Okay, nice. so. <laughs> You're already a um, vegetable. Yeah. <laughs> this pillow this is pillow. wonderful. It's one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. This is the body chemistry pillow. It's a 100% it's a towel latex. Latex. It's so big you can hide behind it. You probably can't hear me behind there. Um, the outer part is a salient fabric. Mm -hmm. So salient is great for increasing blood flow when applied to the surface because mm -hmm. it's an FDA approved material. So what we mean by that is the cover of this or the sheets behind us that you can put on your bed, they have ground up minerals mm -hmm. and uh, naturally gradient. derived mm -hmm. from the earth that hold in our own body's heat and then converts it back into our body as infrared. So it readmits it. It's kind of mm -hmm. like the sunshine beating down on some sandstone and then off that sandstone comes the infrared. Helps okay? you sleep better and helps you it's heal. It's gonna hold that into your, next to your body. It's great recovery. It's great mm -hmm. for chronic pain, inflammation. So uh, this is an incredible fabric. We have pillows that have it mm -hmm. and the sheets. But what's the coolest thing about this latex pillow is that you can roll it. So say you really like to travel. Right. You can scrunch this up and put it in a com compression bag, like mm -hmm. from a backpacking store. Uh -huh. And you can take this pillow and then when you're ready at nighttime, it just pops out and it's always going to hold its shape. Because it's latex, right? It's latex. It's okay. not memory foam. So it's a true rubber from a tree. Mm -hmm. It's hypoallergenic. So if you're allergic to latex, it's not going to hurt you. It's a fantastic pillow. And one of the big things that she taught me today that she found out today was bed bug proof. Oh my goodness. And what is so cool is this protector right here is bed bug proof and dust mite proof. So you can travel safely with your pillow anywhere you go. Your pillow can always go with you. Yep. I love it. So That's pretty cool. I, I highly recommend this. Uh, and I latex by nature is just cooler. Uh, and it is also great for allergies and asthma because dust mites can't live inside of the latex even. Right. So mm -hmm. not only is it cover that the, the whole inside of your pillow. Yep. It's a very, very nice pillow uh, on a business side. It sells pretty good too. So, <laughs> but no, yeah. it's a very, very, very qual good quality product. All right. It is time for the second question of the day. And, yeah. I just blew it with being vegan. I just, I'm, I have a cheese tray. <laughs> You also have cows at your mom's house, so okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that ain't in my future. Second question. Do you finance? With prices being what they are, we are needing to find a store that finances. And this was a question that we just had recently. So, do... I gave you that look because at first I thought you were asking me if I would finance you. <laughs> I was like, for what? Okay, just kidding. Oh. <laughs> Yes, we do finance, and if you go to our website, um, mm -hmm. you can scroll all the way down, and then it'll talk, it'll say financing at the bottom, mm -hmm. and that will provide you links to all of our um, outlets. Providers. Would you, providers? Uh, yeah, okay. providers, yeah. Uh, like Synchrony Bank, Synchrony uh -huh. Home. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have Qualify, mm -hmm. the SEMA. Mm -hmm. We got a whole list. Uh, so you can also look on your devices and on your phone. It should help locate you to us uh, if we're an active dealer in that but go to our website we have lots of financing options for excellent credit challenge credit um, there are even ways if you don't have credit but you have great bank history mm -hmm. uh, we can take care of you there so mm -hmm. if you if, yeah and we even have a layaway plan oh yeah we do have as a small family-owned business here locally uh, we do have the opportunity to help our community with a layaway plan mm -hmm. um, no credit needed uh, and um, but we'll work with you uh, through that Process. I have a question. Yes, sir. Doesn't it sound funny to have a layaway plan in a mattress store? No, that was the whole plan. It's a lay away. Plan. Lay yeah. away. Yeah, no, it, the layaway plan became came because we actually had a lot of people that didn't want to finance, but they wanted to pay through a period of time, mm -hmm. and that's why we started. The oh, it's plan. super awesome, and mm -hmm. so yeah, it allows people to. They're just putting the money down. Right. They don't get the product. It's not like you get the product and walk out with it, but you, you just kind of have a little savings with us. It's a customer service. Customer yeah. service. And it Do doesn't you, cost us. You so. know, growing up, we had a grocery store, Mike's Friendly Store in Moriarty, mm -hmm. and I, I truly remember my great-grandparents going to shop for groceries there, and um, 
the Anaya's were awesome because you could have a little tab mm -hmm. and it was a handwritten tab next to the register mm -hmm. for anybody in the community and you would just write down your groceries that you needed and then at the end of the month you'd always square up and it was um, your word Mm -hmm. And it was a piece of paper, and it was so wonderful. And I literally thanked Mickey um, uh, Allen for um, helping my family with that recently. That was super awesome. Because think of how much that helped back then. Oh, a lot. Just to clarify, we're not doing that. I don't care what she says. <laughs> I don't care how many, how much she begs. It, we're not doing it. And I if I spot, everybody. and if I spot this at the front counter, we're having words. All right. With that, we're gonna take a break. monkey. I don't know what that has to do with anything. Okay. <laughs> All right, it is time for our third question. Oh dear. Oh dear. You know, All there's right. a reason I'm a germaphobe. There's a reason, yeah, yeah. And oh. there's a reason that you're making me a germaphobe. I think it's rubbing <laughs> off. We're spending way too much time in you this You know office. how much celery I ate this week? How much celery this did you a, eat this week? What is this? Is this called this foreshadowing? Is, I'm trying to foreshadow. Foreshadowing. My eat well to live yeah, well. Yeah, you're forestalling. Later in this show. Exactly. It's all about celery. I have been eating some celery. She has. Okay. Every time I turn around, everyone there's a new should crunch. just celery is your friend. Everyone should eat celery. You stole that line from me. Okay. What's happening? <laughs> We're on question number three, but you keep interrupting me. Go for it. All right. Question number three. <laughs> These are your questions, and if you have any questions that you'd like for us to answer on air, please send them over to info, info at livewellfurnishings.com, or come to the store and uh, just ask your questions and we'll put it on there. All right. How do you guys get so many videos done? <laughs> I know who asked this too. How do you guys get so many videos done? Your YouTube channel is constantly updated with new videos. How do you find the time? We make the time. We make it. And, and we, I do the videos. And he does the videos, yeah. <laughs> he no, keeps we, us in line. He's like, are you got a video? Whoosh, whoosh. Yep, yep. He kind of forces us to make the videos now. We're being mm -hmm. held at gunpoint right now, but we can't tell you that. Well, you get into a groove and you just it's have just your just process. And you're just like, I got to get this done. There's never a dull moment. So right. there's never downtime. I mean, it's good time because it's creative time. Mm -hmm. So uh, in your off time when you're not in front of the customer, you're making You're actively doing so. I mean, you've got a lot of other communications and mm -hmm. business stuff and phone calls and all of this other stuff, but you, over a week's time, uh, you work on it mm -hmm. and you develop it and sometimes it just happens. Yep. Yep. Everything. I mean, when the company opened years ago, we had good mornings with sleep. Well, we had, um, what else did we have? We had sleep coach. We've had, I mean, we have had multiple shows It just right now we have fishbowl. 
Mm -hmm. And then we have all of our little fishbowl bites that we take sections out of. And then we have eat well to eat or eat well to live well. And then we have larger perspective. And then we have Gretchen doing unique in the boutique. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there's a lot of videos that we put out. Um, they're all fun. Well, it's, that's because we enjoy doing them. It's not mm -hmm. a chore. I think if it became like you have to produce X number of videos and then you have to increase by this much. And there was all this like contract stuff out. that would kill yeah. it. Like I would be like, yeah, no, yeah, just, yeah, it would take the joy nah, out of it. Thanks. So and then plus, we can't drink enough beer at that point. Yeah. Look, yeah. look at this. We're sleep coaches. Tonight I chose Coca Cola because I was pretending to be you, and you always drink Coca Cola. Uh, you you pretend to be this health nut. Yeah, I'm exposing that. So um, she's he's like, this the is bus. the best recovery drink after a marathon. She's throwing me <laughs> under the on bus. YouTube. She's literally throwing me under the bus. <laughs> So oh, yeah. we are sleep coaches and we're drinking this. This is an after hour show. I do want the, the public to know this is all after hours. I'm still with you throwing me under the bus. It's, it's like 7, 15 p.m. our time at nighttime and we're drinking this Coca-Cola. Probably not a good idea. Uh, you literally threw me under the bus. <laughs> I drink a lot of water. This is my first Coke of the day. <laughs> <sighs> Anyways, all right. So yeah, we do a lot of videos, but and, and it's not it's not a chore. We actually do we do them because we love to research and we love yeah. learning, and it helps us when we get to help you. So yeah. By this time of the day, because I've been here all day, I'm a little goofy. A little. People wonder about it, but no, it's because I've like been here all, all day. Yeah. I've been here all day. Okay. All right, it's time for stump the chump. Are you ready for this? Because I've got yeah. some good questions. So I'm I really think good. that we really need to bring back some sort of beer. Uh, yeah, I dare me to eat a. With, I'll eat a carrot. No, you have to eat. No, the broccoli. I will not eat a broccoli. <laughs> That's a carnivorous fruit. Car carnivorous. <laughs> carnivorous. Not carnivorous. It's carnivorous. Yeah, Con like you conifurous. Ooh. Is it conifurous? No. All right. Carnivorous. Anyways. Carnivorous. <laughs> carnivorous. All right. Okay. I'm not eating broccoli. What is cortisol? Cortisol. And how does it affect your it's a sleep? Stress hormone. Uh, how does it affect your sleep? It blocks melatonin, actually. Actually, it blocks GABA from producing, which makes you tired. So, yeah. Yeah, it's all that and combined. It stresses yeah. you out. Did you know that you windmills and other... <laughs> I'm not going to go on a tangent. Yeah. But... <laughs> But she ultrasounds, we totally okay. went, we totally ultrasounds low frequency sounds. So if you have an air conditioner that's rumbling, squeaking, um, other tonals, they can actually increase, increase your cortisol levels unknowingly in your subconscious and cause serious health problems. Yeah, it's almost like I covered this three shows ago. Oh yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You okay. Got number one right. I've What's got your... <laughs> yeah. I've got the first question right. All right. So, what is a sleep cycle? Could you explain what a sleep cycle is? Because a lot of people come in here, and we talk to about talk to them about sleep cycles, but they have no clue what we're talking about. I think it takes about ninety minutes. Okay. Very good. Okay. So a complete sleep cycle is ninety minutes from the time you actually fall asleep, and it's broken up into different segments of brain wave activity. Brain wave activity. Yes. Okay. governed by your circadian rhythms. Okay. So I would say that most people get interrupted in their sleep cycles and it causes um, a really bad reaction because you kind of get this weird delay of you, you just kind of stay sleepy and you get grogginess mm -hmm. or like irritability in the morning because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you get interrupted because you're not finishing a complete sleep cycle. Right. Okay. That's my problem. Mm -hmm. So a sleep cycle, they're not, <laughs> sleep isn't uniform. Instead, uh, instead, over the course of the night, your total sleep is made up of several rounds of sleeps, which are called sleep cycles. It's composed of four individual stages. And in a typical night, a person goes through four to six cycles. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. All right. What is four times 90? What's next? 360 minutes. 360 minutes. 270? 360 minutes. <laughs> six times six. Okay, that might six work. Hours. Okay. <laughs> so, what's up? It's your turn. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> now I'm on number two. Okay. Can celery help you get a better night's sleep? Can celery help you get a better night's sleep? <laughs> 
I should know the answer to this because I've yes heard, or no? Can I've celery? Heard every I know that seems really random. Every historical I fact. I decided this week for eat well, deliver well. I was just gonna grab the most random thing. I was like, I don't even know. I'm running out of ideas, and I was munching on some celery, and I was like, I'm just gonna choose this the is most really random how it happened. topic and see if it's sleep related. And bam, the whole like Pandora's box of celery history opened up and i am enlightened <laughs> you I've have had no to hear idea all of no the history idea. of celery throughout the week so does celery help you sleep oh my gosh i want to say i want to say that yes but i don't know how <laughs> okay <yes>. <laughs> <laughs> when you will all learn here in a little bit it's amazing okay go for it you're next <laughs> The, Am I supposed it, to just uh, <laughs> Is anybody that, else confused? So, and she says, okay, now go for it. I think we're very confused right now. Obviously, celery doesn't help okay, you. Okay, okay. Okay. All right. So, what I was, well, I was trying to lead up to my eat well. I'm going to answer that in my eat well. You got to stay tuned to the rest of the show. But I will. Oh, that's a beautiful like, 15 minute or 10 minute uh, teaser. So, I'm going to accept it. I'm going to accept it. I was trying to do a teaser. I'm trying to. Yeah. No, we can leave up. it as a teaser. That's fine. It, I'm, it was a yes or no question. Okay. And so, was yes, I right? Yes. And it's just, I'm trying to build up. It's the, a teaser, people. I'm She's, trying to tease about the celery. Her teasers are I, as bad as her puns. I really with, wish yes. we yes. had a, some celery right here, but next okay. week we'll display some celery. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, now we've got a teaser. Okay. So, yeah, something we can sink our teeth in. Uh, how long? Yeah. And literally, crunch. How long is the deep sleep cycle? Deep sleep cycle is, um, it's kind of short actually, okay. 26 minutes. All right. So a deep sleep cycle <laughs> should be between 13 and 23% of the time spent in sleep. Okay. So if you get seven hours of sleep each night, which is, I get six and a half. If you get seven hours of sleep, then you should be approximately in deep sleep for 55 to 97 minutes each night in deep sleep. Okay, so I answered that properly. If you did three sleep cycles of whatever I just mentioned prior, it would actually average out to that if you did multiple sleep cycles. Does she scare you sometimes? <laughs> yeah. Right? It would. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, we keep sharp, sharp objects away from her. Okay. Go ahead. Did I do that math right? Hey, just keep going. <laughs> So. You lost everyone like five minutes ago. No, okie dokie. They already fast go. forwarded to find out how celery sleeps, hey. but then they're coming back. So, name three health benefits of eating celery. Helps you go potty. Yes. Yeah, yeah a little bit. Okay. Um, makes you irritate your boss because you're crunching really bad. That's not a health benefit. It might be a benefit... To the work environment. Okay. Makes your breath stink less. Uh, well, yeah, kind of like apples. That was a bird. Did you, Did you notice? <laughs> it's my breath all like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What are the health? What are? What? <laughs> I got it delayed. It was delayed. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, five seconds. So yeah, three real quick health benefits. Um. It actually lowers your cortisol, so that's how it's connected to sleep. Is that why you haven't been stressed this week? Yeah, I've been eating a lot of celery. So it reduces cortisol levels, it reduces blood pressure, and it works on our neuro, uh, our, what is that? Our neuro ner pathways? Ah. <laughs> yeah, our central nervous system. Yes, it has a pathways. calming effect on our central nervous system and it works on a cellular level. This stuff is amazing. Mm. It has a whole history going back 4,000 years. Yes. Is so, that cellular or celery level? It's cellular, <laughs> because it's celery. <sighs> All right, cellular folks, I'm not gonna level. torture you anymore. <laughs> it is time for her eat well to live well, and it starts now. Hi everyone, this is Melanie, and this is Eat Well to Live Well. While you may now be familiar with how raw foods can help you get a better night's sleep, 
like tart cherries, for instance, or creamy peanut butter and banana sandwiches before bedtime. But what about celery for a better night's sleep? You heard me, celery. You might not think of celery very often, but it's a great snack for children and a crisp, refreshing side to chicken wings. But did you know that at one time in history that celery cost more than caviar and was highly revered and it was once all the rage of Victorian fine dining, so much so that it was prominently displayed as centerpieces and placed in fine crystal vase. But before it was a fancy dish by the royalty, it was most commonly associated with one's, well, deathbed and the underground ancient Egyptians and Romans, but never mind that. While we don't really even think about celery except on Thanksgiving, today celery is mostly associated with a fresh, crisp, and mostly bland, mundane, zero calorie snack. But the medicinal properties of this rather boring veggie might surprise you. And well, what might surprise you even more is that there's a connection to getting a better night's sleep. On this Eat Well to Live Well, I will be exploring the surprising health benefits packed inside of this green crisp stalk. Celery, once a medicinal plant, is known to work on a cellular level. Get it? Celery. It's able to cleanse your liver, reversing flatty liver disease, and is especially instrumental in blood detoxification. Celery can aid in balancing stomach acids, which in turn increase the functioning of our immune system. And this plant is packed with biosalts, which is a naturally occurring electrolyte. These biosalts also work to improve the functioning of our central nervous system, which have a calming effect on our nerves overall. And this, folks, is where a better night's sleep comes in. Celery also has a natural way of reducing cortisol levels in our system as it helps to balance and rebuild our body's own processing for recovery. By reducing cortisol, a stress hormone, we can start sleeping better. By adding just a few stocks to your diet each day, you can dramatically improve your overall health and find a better, more restorative night's sleep. Not only can eating a few stalks a day help to relax or lower your blood pressure, but it also regulates your blood sugar and reduces muscle spasms. Its anti-inflammatory properties can reduce the pain associated with rheumatoid arthritis and other painful conditions. In a recent study, celery juice showed a whopping 68% decrease in pain associated with gout. That's right, celery juice can combat gout by dissolving uric acid crystals in our muscle tissue. Celery can smooth your digestive tract and is full of living enzymes. Its juice helps alleviate gas and constipation and encourages more beneficial bacteria. It has a surprising effect of increasing testosterone while at the same time limiting excess estrogen. Celery, when incorporated into a healthy diet, can also have helpful dissolving properties for gallstones and kidney stones. If you have any skin issues, celery is also instrumental at alleviating dermatitis, psoriasis, and eczema. So when choosing celery, look for organic when possible. If you are unable to find organic celery, be sure to thoroughly wash your stalks to remove any harmful pesticide residue uh, my favorite way to eat celery has always been ants on a log, which is a peanut butter with some raisins on top. But it's also absolutely delicious with hummus, other nut butters, and dressings. You might even be surprised to learn that there are over a thousand recipes and drinks for celery. I hope you found this week's Eat Well to Live Well once again informational and inspirational. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel to receive more videos just like this one. Until next time. <laughs> that was a really good celery history, although it doesn't cover like even half of what I had to put up with this week. Like the whole thing with the Romans, how they used to <laughs> use it for funerals and and all this other stuff. Yeah. And there's a Doctor Who that carries one in his pocket. There's...
Oh, Doctor Who carries a celery There's stick. A They're Who magical celery a sticks. Of celery in his pocket. No, People, if man. you had to, if so, you had to hear everything I heard about oh, celery this week, you would be like, oh my gosh. I think I'm gonna start growing celery. Yeah. I'm gonna do a big celery comeback. I think we need celery shirts and celery earrings, and I'm just gonna be like, I grow celery. Celery is awesome. Celery you know how much celery down to, nice but week. I'm gonna increase because with inflation, it might get more.